Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome to the channel. We're going to play a game called Otherworldly. Um, it's like a first-person horror game that um, seems kind of strange. So I was like, you know what? Let's check it out. Um, I'm a wuss when it comes to scary games, so hopefully this one's not too spooky. But look at this. It's like a dungeon crawler. So it seems right up my alley. It's really dark. All I have is a match. You can do a mini map like that. You can run with L. There's apples. There's matches. So the matches do run out. Holy smokes. Did not realize that. So there's a chance that you will be in the dark. And I'm sure there's going to be scary stuff coming up. It doesn't look like I have any way to defend myself. So, oh my gosh. What, what in the world? What was that? <laughs> Yeah, random blue wind just coming up out of nowhere. It looks like I'm already running out of uh, out of match. Just run, and uh, looks like there's some torches. Oh shoot! Yeah, my health, my health is getting low. I guess uh, luckily I'm with the torch or whatever this is. Let's go ahead and use another match. And games like this kind of remind me of old school like PC games. Um, I'm probably gonna die really soon though, cause I'm at health 38. Luckily my sanity is doing pretty good. Oh, looks like you have stamina. You can't run completely all the time. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, look a ladder. Wait, nope, that ladder don't go nowhere. All right. <laughs> Is there anything here? Am I allowed to? Holy shit! What was that? There was a skeleton. Watch out for skeletons! Okay, um... It's kind of like being in a haunted house. A little bit. If you think about it. <laughs> I need a lock pick. I don't have a lock pick. Oh, what was that? Was that like a ghost or something? Uh, yeah. It's not too scary. It's just creepy and, and hard to see because you're in the dark. Oh, here we go. A to take. Let's eat the apple. There we go. I'm in a nice. I'm in a nice looking, well lit room. Another worldly thing you wanders here, you might consider about any. Uh, why don't I just stay in the nice lit room for the rest of my life, right? There's candles. It looks nice and safe. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! What was that? Oh shit! Oh, woo, that made my heart jump so bad. Oh my gosh, that looked like an alien rancor, like, hunter from Resident Evil. I was not fully aware that there would be full-blooded killing animals like that inside this place. I thought it would be, like, you know, nice, cute, uh, you know, uh, simple skeletons with swords. Oh my gosh. Oof. Yeah, um, e about that. <laughs> Whoa, man, that, that got me. Let's press B to restart. So, oh man, did this, what am I doing here? What, what, what's homie doing? What's, what's homie doing in this dungeon? This old school dungeon. Did I just take a big circle? Oh, yeah, I just did a circle. But, looks like picked up a lockpick. Looks like I picked up a candle. Looks like I picked up another golden thing. So, looks like I'm doing pretty A-OK, -okay, right? Um, definitely picked up a lot more goodies this time than I did last time. Ok, 
Okay. Um, a weapon would be nice, right? If I'm just throwing that out there, a weapon would be nice. Especially if there's going to be otherworldly animals and creatures and uh, monsters coming at me. Um, you know, maybe some more matches. A flashlight would be nice. Uh, if I'm, if I'm being completely honest, it's like, what did I do to, to get in this area? <laughs> so it looks like the arch doorways, of course, of course there's nothing in there. The arch doorways definitely have, um, stuff we can use. Like, why don't I just grab one of the candles, you know? Oh wait, I can Oh, that makes everything so much happy, like better. Oh my gosh. Lockpick. Steal at least 5,000 before leaving. Okay. Uh, I got that. I can easily do that. It's 3,500 worth. Um, we'll take... Take that. Um, so this is kind of like a haunted house. Let's see, where am I going? Well, I'm glad you can at least take a candle because that, that makes it a lot easier. I just need 500 more bucks. 500 more bucks. There we go. Okay, um. I think it was this way. Did I already lose my way? I think it was this way. So we're going. We're gonna go. Um, where was the door at? Here. Ooh. I'm getting somewhere in the game. Watch this next area be 20 times more scarier. Oh, I guess I I actually won. I guess basically you just try to do as best of a run as you can. So, <laughs> let's do one more run, right? Hashtag one more run. Collect at least 5,000. Look for matches. Find an exit. So, I did that really rather quickly. I guess the game just kind of like randomly regenerates a dungeon for you to, uh, to exit. And the goal is to take as much as you can each time. So, it's not bad. I wish there was a way to defend yourself. I, yep, it does seem to be there's the exit so we'll remember the exits right there oh my gosh those stupid okay I just did a freaking circle so I just try to remember the exit that I was just at is where the center of the screen's at a to open. Ooh, nice, nice room with a with a lock. I like that. Ooh, what's this? Collected matches. Okay, that definitely is going to come in handy. <laughs> so as you can tell, this is a budget dungeon crawler type of game. Doesn't seem like there's any true way to uh, defend yourself in the game, and there's monsters and stuff. So. Hence the name, Otherworldly. I do like that you can pick up candles. That does make it uh, a lot easier. There are matches too, but I prefer the candle method. And, uh, yeah. Um, let's uh, go on our way. Let's pick the candle up. Figure out where we're going. And when we're getting there. And uh, hopefully we don't run into that scary thing again came out of nowhere and uh, basically ruined my whole universe terrified me a little bit um, I do not like being scared <laughs> and uh, yeah uh, whew, a little nervous a little jittery a little nervous um, 
figure out what's going on here. Okay, here we go. A to open. Ooh, 500 bucks. Just, just laying... 500 bucks laying in a mysterious dungeon. Oh my gosh. Hi. He's not moving, so... I wonder if this is one of those games where when you turn up... Yep, it definitely is. It's one of those games where when you face away from the skeleton or something, it's uh, right behind you. So, that is good to know, guys. Oh my gosh, what was that? That was like some kind of scary thing that just populated in front of me. Yeah. Um, I do not like that. I don't like that the skeleton moves around behind you, honestly. That shit reminds me of, like, Doctor Who. <laughs> Definitely reminds me of Doctor Who. Oh. With those weeping angel statues. Is that what they are? Um, oh man, I am lost. And then the screen starts to turn really dark and dim. Oh, I have apples. Let's, let's use my apples. The, the screen starts to kind of turn black and white when, uh, when you're about to die. I forgot I had my apples. Uh, at least I beat one round, right? That's, oh shoot. I heard a noise. Oh man. I'm terrified. Could you imagine really being in a dungeon like this? Uh, I'm lost even though I'm looking at a map. I am turned the heck around. Oh, why did I get rid of my candle? I need mean, still another 2,800? 3,000? Oh, I'm going to be stuck here. Great. Oh, man. Run. <laughs> as long as you're facing the skeleton, you, you have nothing to fear, guys. That's the new 8-Bit Eric motto. As long as we face the skeleton, we have nothing to fear. All right? Let's open the door. Let's grab an apple. Eat. Oh, my God. What the hell's going on? Get out of my way. Oh my god! No! 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 Move! Move! God damn it! Oh my god. <laughs> they got me with that double whammy. The fucking monster and the skeleton. Oh god. <laughs> Anyways guys, this was otherworldly. Of course it's a low budget dungeon crawler, but it, it <laughs> scared the bejesus out of me. Comment down below what did you guys think and uh, leave a like or a dislike. Do something with this fucking video. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.